Good morning everyone. Welcome to Ojaswatha Ice Academy. So today we will discuss the MCQs of 22nd May. And you can also join us on our telegram channel where we upload all these PPTs and you can do multiple revision of them. So work hard, be consistent and regularly watch our videos. Let's see what are the 10 topics which we are going to discuss in today's MCQs. So here is a list is given and please do take a pause when you see questions on the screen. Answer it first then see the explanation part and try to get at least 7 questions correct out of 10. So let's start our today's topic with question number 1. So question number 1 is which of the following conditions are favorable for the formation and intensification of tropical cyclones. So statement first large sea surface with temperature higher than 27 degrees Celsius. Second presence of the Coriolis force. Third a pre-existing high pressure area. So here the correct option is C. That means statement third is incorrect because for tropical cyclone a pre-existing weak low pressure area or low level cyclonic circulation are required. And basically tropical cyclones are very intense low pressure wind system that originate over warm tropical ocean and move to the coastal areas bringing about large scale destruction caused by violent winds. And a small variation in the vertical wind speed is also a favorable condition for the formation of tropical storms. And context is that cyclone Amphan in the Bay of Bengal has intensified into severe cyclonic storm. And here is the image of classification of tropical cyclone is given. You can see. Now question number 2 is with reference to Sikkim. Statement first. It gained the status of first fully organic state in the India and world in 2016. Second, the state borders two neighboring countries Nepal and Bhutan. So the correct option here is A that is one only and the statement second is incorrect because it shares border with three countries and it also includes China. And Sikkim was the 22nd state to join Union of India on 1975. 16 May. So even after independence in 1947, Sikkim continued to enjoy the protectorate status with the Republic of India and after anti-royalist riot of 1973, a referendum was held and Sikkim joined India. And Sikkim became first fully organic state not only in India but in the world in 2016. And context is that Sikkim government celebrated its 45th statehood day on May 16. A map is also given. You can see it shares border with Nepal, Bhutan and China. Now question number 3 is with reference to Northeast Monsoon Drift. Statement first, it generates a clockwise circulation in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Second, it forms when the Northeast Monsoon causes a westward and southward drift along the eastern coast of India. So the correct option here is B that is second only and the statement first is incorrect because it generates an anti-clockwise circulation in Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal as you can see in the image and northeast monsoon drift is formed in summer starting from December and it forms when the northeast monsoon causes a westward and southward drift along the eastern coast of India and along the Arabian coast. Now question number 4 is Rajiv Gandhi Kisan Nyay Yojana has been launched recently by which of the following state governments? So the correct option is B that is Chhattisgarh. So under this scheme State Government of Chhattisgarh will inject Rs 5100 crore in the state's rural economy through DBT into the accounts of farmer and the farmers would be paid Rs 10,000 per acre for paddy, corn and sugarcane crops based on the registration and procured area for the Kharif season. And the scheme is aimed to stimulate the rural economy in the state and expected to benefit over 1.87 million farmers. Now question number 5 is 
विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द लार्जेस्ट रेंज इन द लोअर हिमालया सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज बी दैट इज पीर पंजल रेंज सो हेयर इज द मैप इज गिवन एंड यू कैन सी पीर पंजल रेंज इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ माउंटेन इन द इनर हिमालयन रीजन एंड द लार्जेस्ट रेंज ऑफ द लोअर हिमालया एंड इट रन फ्रॉम ईस्ट साउथ ईस्ट टू वेस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट अक्रॉस हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड यू टी जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड पी ओ के रीजन एंड नियर द बैंक ऑफ सतलुज रिवर इट डिसोसिएट इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम द हिमालया एंड फॉर्म्स अ डिवाइड बिटवीन द रिवर ब्यास एंड रावी एंड डिओ टिबा एंड इंद्र सैन आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट पीक्स एट द ईस्टर्न एंड ऑफ द माउंटेन रेंज नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज रिसेंटली द टर्म फाइव आइज कंट्रीज वॉज इन न्यूज स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इट इज एन एंग्लो फोन इंटेलिजेंस अलायंस सेकेंड द ओरिजन्स ऑफ द फाइव आई कैन बी ट्रेस्ड बैक टू द प्री वर्ल्ड वॉर फर्स्ट पीरियड थर्ड न्यूजीलैंड इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ फाइव आइज फोर्थ द कंट्रीज आर पार्टी टू द मल्टी लेटरल यू के यू एस एग्रीमेंट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज B it means statement second is incorrect and statement second is incorrect because the origin of phi phi group can be traced back to the post world war second period when the atlantic charter was issued by the alliance to lay out their goals for a post world war and in spite of continued controversy over its method the phi phi's relationship remains one of the most comprehensively known espionage alliances in history and since process intelligence is gathered from multiple sources the intelligence shared is not restricted to signals intelligence now here is map is given and you have to find out all the five countries which are part of five five group so you have to answer this question in the comment section this blue color is given for five five countries now question number 7 is what happens when incomes in a country fall statement first individuals will cut down their expenditure second overall demand fall third the government revenue will take a massive hit as we have to find out incorrect one so all the given statements are correct option will be d that is none of the above so the three type of expenditure that is by individuals businesses and government essentially make up the gdp of india and there is a fourth component called net export that is net of exports and imports and of these four engines of growth only the government has a super power that means it is the only one which can spend money even when it does not have it and moreover when the government spends money let's say rupees 100 then economy moves ahead by far more than rupees 100 now question number 8 is recently operation brass tax was in news statement first it is a code name of a major military exercise between india and uk second it aims to strengthen military relation between both the countries so here the correct option is d that is none of the above because both the given statements are incorrect because operation brass tax was a code name of a major military exercise of indian army not with india and uk and it took place in 1986 in state of india rajasthan and until its execution in 1987 and this operation was tasked with two objective first for deployment of ground troops then other objective was to conduct a series of amphibious assault exercise indian navy near to the pakistan naval base and this operation was only an exercise and not supposed to be a provocative one do check out more about the operation now question number 9 is which of following is our member country or countries of j group so here the correct option is a that is japan so in g20 meeting at ponyo aris prime minister narendra modi termed the india us japan partnership as j group so whenever we talk about j group it includes j means japan a means america i means india 
and this grouping is done because india japan and usa agreed that a free open inclusive and rules based order is essential for the indo pacific peace and prosperity as the leaders from the three countries held a trilateral meeting for the first time among china flexing its muscles in the strategic region now question number 10 is tuju pass connects which are the following indian state with myanmar so this question might be confusing because all the given states shares border with myanmar but tuju pass connects manipur with myanmar so option will be c so here is the map is given and though the tuju pass actually not given in the map but it connects with myanmar and from imphal to tamu which is in myanmar so that's all in our today's mcqs hope you guys are liking the lecture and if you want to contact us these are the details you can also join us on our telegram channel and here is the address given and if you want information regarding uppsc examination and its test series you can also contact us we are always there for your genuine queries so stay safe stay healthy have a nice day and thank you